Today we're going to introduce you to making changes to values using the push button interface with the Altro transmitter. This is very useful in a few different menu options here with the menu tree. So we can see that we can make these changes to our upper range value, our lower range value, our dampening, as well as our zero adjust. So those four will all be used to make value changes. Now, again, we're going to be accessing the push buttons here on top of the outro transmitter. And please remember that the interface works as this. We push a button, we wait for a change on the display, and we release. That's going to be common throughout all we do, even with the value changes we're going to make. The one that we're going to simulate today is making a change to our upper range using the push button interface. So first, we'll push both buttons to access the menus. Push, wait for the whole, wait for the change, and let go. To go down, we're going to use the zero button. So we'll go down, wait for the change, and release. To access in the setup menu the upper range, we're going to use the span button to go into it. So we push and hold span, wait for a change on the display, and release. Now let's say that you accidentally went into the menu 1, which is the trim menu, and you had made a mistake and wanted to go back. To go back out of many of the different menus and submenus, we push and hold both of them, wait for the change, and release. This will take us back and forth through the menus. So let's go back to setup where we're going to make our upper range value change. So we'll use the zero button, push and hold, and let go. To access the menu, we'll hit the span button and let go. This will get us to 21. We're going to make our change in submenu 22. So again, we hit 0, we wait for the change, and we let go. We're going to hit the span button to enter and let go. Now please notice that once you get see the set increments, if we hold both of them, it doesn't take us backwards. This is actually where we're going to lock in our value. So it is a little different than the other menus where we can go in and out using the two buttons. So let's get back into the upper range value setting. We'll do this a little more quickly here. So once we enter our upper range, the first thing we're going to see here is set increments. This is the factor of 10, or the position to the left or right of the decimal place that we're going to be making changes to. To change that unit, use the zero button. It is going to scroll from bigger to smaller until it cycles through all the available changes in terms of position of the decimal place that we can make. Now note that just like with anything else, we have to push wait for a change, and release to cycle through them. If you hold, you're going to get the BT error that you've seen in other programming instances with the push buttons. So for this case, we're going to make a change from 30 to 15. So we're going to start with the tens. To make a change with tens, we're going to, be, we're going to use the span button to enter and it's going to show value. This is the actual value for upper range value as set currently. Now to make a change, the zero button will take us up, whereas the span button will take us down. Again, be reminded that we push for each incremental change, we push, wait for the change, and release. So to go down, we're going to first adjust this place right here. So push and hold until it's to 10, because our change ultimately is going to be to 15. We push and hold both once we're happy with our setting here to go back to set increments and to change by a different factor of 10 or a different place to the left or right of the decimal. So again, to scroll through, we hit 0. It'll move from bigger to smaller to 1. We hit the span button, again to enter the value screen, which is where we're going to be making our manipulation to upper range value. And we'll use the zero to increase that value. One at a time, push, wait for a change, release, and so on until we get to 15.
Now, when you're happy with your value here, you push and hold both, and we're going to return to set increments again. Now, at this point, it is not saved the changes that we've manipulated using the push button interface. The final save is accomplished by pushing and holding both from the set increments. If you do it here, you'll see in OK and then done. That's going to let you know that the value that was shown in that screen has been saved. Should you have any more questions, please refer to the manuals found online at autraltransmitters.com.